Okay, there guys, I received a question uh, about connecting to a database using UDVC. Okay, so there we go. Uh, for our test subject, we're going to use this testing database and I'm going to use another database later on. So, uh, before starting with the application and linking and stuff like that, uh, ODBC, um, you can think of ODBC as a standard or unified interface that allows your application to connect to any type of database uh, without changing the application's code. Okay? Um, so, basically, if you go to your control panel, um, you should see something like this. This is ODBC. If you click on that, you're going to see this window. What this window says, it, it says the following, that there is these data sources, in other words, there is these databases, and uh, you can access them. The name of each database is available here. Okay, so we have access at, eBase, well, etc, etc, etc. Okay, and this is in the user DNS, so this is on the user level. There is also the system DNS, Okay, and uh, if you look here, you will find that each each database there it has a specific driver. Okay, so the, the, you could you can uh, identify the type of database based on the driver. So this one is an access database. This one is PostgreSQL database, um, and so on. <coughs> okay, um, yeah. So I guess this is obvious and I don't assume that it's hard to understand what this is. Now, how do we use this one? Okay, um, let's go to here. So um, what I'm going to do, we have this uh, test table, uh, test database that contains this table. We are going to link to this access database using ODBC drivers. The way to do it, uh, I'm going to select add a new data source. It's going to be a database, and we are going to use a new connection. We don't want to use the Oracle wizard, so select change. Now, which type of a driver you would like to use? We're going to use ODBC data source. Click OK. As soon as you do that, you'll find that there is a list of available data sources or available databases. Uh, our database is not listed there. So, we are going to click here in order to use our own connection string and set it to both. Okay, so in this case, you are going to select the machine data source. Wait a minute. Um, machine data source. And uh, again, our database is not here, so we are going to click in new. So, it's going to ask you. Do you want this database to um, apply to the uh, uh, for the user or for the system? Okay, I'm gonna set it for the user next. And now, which kind of driver would you like to use? So you can see that there is a number of drivers. Okay, in our case, we are using the ACCEV driver, so we must select this one. Okay. It depends. So you can see there are many types of drivers, which means you can connect to many types of databases. Anyway, so <clears throat> right now I want to connect to this one. Okay, click next, and uh, I'm going to click finish. So this window up here, and what uh, what you should do now is select a database file. So I'm going to click select. Um, I am going to go to C. Um, there should be... where's that? Oh, there's a problem. How can I get into the desktop? Okay, it's here. And this, where is the user? Well, it should be here. Where is desktop? Okay, there you go. So, this is it. Okay, this is our database. I'm gonna click OK. Um, yeah. Um, and 
here you need to specify the name for this database. Uh, it's not the file name, it's going to be a name used to identify uh, this database. Um, okay, uh, it's kind of a unique name. So here, um, let's think access, for example. Okay, and now <coughs> testing access DB. That's a long thing. Anyway, I'm going to click OK. So now you can see that it's available in here. And now I'm going to click OK. Uh, if you are required to enter login name and password, you should provide these. Click OK. Uh, if you'd like, you can click Test Connection and OK here. Um, next. Um, it's connection string, and you can see now this is the table. The rest of your work is exactly the same. It's like connecting to a normal Access database. Okay, I'm going to say finish, and you can drag and drop this one to your onto your form, and it's going to work. So let's try this out and see if the information can be displayed. Okay, so here I'm going to change this to B, and I'm going to save the information. Um, I'm going to stop the application now. I'm going to run it again. And A is now B. I, I changed it here to B. Okay. So, um, this is how you can link using ODBC. So, what am I going to do now? I'm going to link into a totally different database also using ODBC driver. Okay? So, let me first um, yeah, let me remove these, okay, I delete this one, let me delete the data, uh, the data set, I am doing this because I want to cancel the connection into um, uh, the previous data source and start a new one. Okay, so now I'm going to create a new connection for that to import the solution. Okay, so let's link now to a new database. Uh, maybe before linking, I should show it to you here. So I have this uh, Postgres, I call it Postgres, I don't know how to spell it. Um, anyway, so um, this is a free open source database and it's awesome, I think it's awesome. Um, so what we have here, um, uh, we have a database, this is the database itself, and it contains a number of schemes. You can think that each scheme represents like a, a complete uh, Microsoft Access database or something like that. Anyway, <coughs> <coughs> so now um, we have this uh, public scheme. Let me create a new scheme for testing here. So, um, a new uh, scheme here. And uh, I'm going to call it uh, test. Test. Okay, so this is the name of, of the scheme. Um, yeah. The owner. Okay, uh, so one of the things you need to pay attention to this one, this one's a little bit different because it has high security. So I need to create a user. And uh, I'm going to say this user is called test. Okay, and the password is test. Test again. So test, test, test. Okay, and if you'd like to see the SQL, this is the SQL to generate the, this user. Anyway, so click OK. So we have test here. Next, um, Right click and new object is a scheme. This is going to be, and now the scheme is called test, and the user who's the owner um, is test as well. And okay, and we, we are going to give everything to the public, no problem. And uh, add, sorry. Um, sorry, I'm always getting confused. Uh, 
So public will be able to do everything to this uh, database. There is also sequences and function. Anyway, don't worry about these. If you are interested in working with Postgres, you might want to, to check the internet about these. Anyway, so we have these, um, and you can hit OK. <clears throat> now we have this scheme. And this one doesn't have any table. So I'm going to create a new table. So here I'm going to say uh, um, tell for telephones. Okay, columns. I'm going to say this is the first column. There you go. It's going to be an ID. It's going to be numeric. Okay. Well, I'm not comfortable with this one. Maybe I should do it using Squirrel. I guess it was much better. Um, wait a minute. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm kind of a little bit slow with this. So I'm going to click here. So new connection. I'm going to use um, a new user. The user's test. This is going to be test. <coughs> Create table. Um, dot t e l this is going to be id numeric primary key um, and there is n m e for name and voucher one thousand close that semicolon and run okay so it got executed and now um, Select start from tell. Okay, so now it's empty. I'm gonna add a few data here. Insert into tell values. Um, the first person Smith. Whatever. Insert into tell values. The second person Stodd. Anyway. So we have these, um, sorry it's taking me some time, but now we have some information. Okay, so now we have this table and we want to link it to our application. So let's go back here. We're going to add a new data source. It's going to be database. Next, um, select a new connection and change that into ODBC driver. Okay, and uh, obviously it's not here, so we're going to use string holder okay so this one click in new um, and here we are gonna search for there should be a driver for postgres where is that there we go this is post uh, postgres yeah uh, try to spell that uh, anyway so next and finish there we go so the data source is gonna be Testing Postgres uh, well, DB. Now this is the name of the database. This is the name uh, of the server or the IP of the server. This is going to be test. Sorry, be test. On this, the password should be test. And test the connection, and it's successful. Okay, so we we are now able to connect to this new database. And now I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to say OK again, OK again, and now um, I'm going to include the password. Next, next, and I want, sorry, OK, I guess, wait, wait, wait. Tell. Uh, so as you can see here, um, it seems, yeah, so these are other tables, okay, but our table is in, in the test scheme. So here this is tell on the test scheme, I'm going to select this one, okay, and I'm going to select finish. There we go. Next, I'm going to drag and drop this one here. There we go. So I'm going to run the application now. Okay, 
So if we have these two red cards, I'm going to add a third one. This is three. Michael. Okay, I don't know if this spell is correct or not. So save that. No problem. Um, and we can go here. And uh, let me refresh this one. This table. Right to click and uh, view all rows. So you can see Smith told the Michael. Okay. So this is how you can um, link your application with uh, <coughs> with the database. And uh, I guess this clarifies how you can use ODBC. It's not much different here, not much different from using the standard drivers. Okay. So, yeah. I guess uh, this is all I have to show you for now. Uh, I hope you'll find this useful. Um, if you have uh, questions, uh, let me know and send your questions to know at mk.com. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.